right guys, so every day we read a book called John C. Maxwell Daily Reader. Guys, the passage today is initiative. What does that mean to you? One of the things that I got from this, it just says, change your mindset. And we just got off a podcast and I was talking about the same thing, you know, about how you need to change the way you think. And I've heard this saying before from a remarkable um, leader. <laughs> he said, if you can change the way you think, you can change the way you earn money. That was one of the things that I received. It says, don't wait for any opportunity to knock. You got to go out there and go out there and get it. And I like reading these daily passages from John C. Maxwell Daily Reader, just so as a reminder, one, for leadership, two, it really just gets your mind to thinking and opening up to ideas that you probably didn't even think of that you had before. Last thing it says, take the next step. It says here in this passage that most people have great ideas in the shower, but when they get out and they dry themselves off, they typically don't even initiate what they just thought about. See, some people have great ideas and could be phenomenal in this world or even change the world, but they just don't take action. So when I read this passage, the first thing I thought about is really just taking action. So that's what you got. So initiative, man, this is really big. I mean, for me, because like Sharnetta stated, you have to take action. Um, they always say that faith without work is dead, right? You can pray about change and you can hope until the end of time. But being intentional and taking action is what's actually what's going to get you what you need. I listened to a video that I saw somebody post. It was like, you know, if you ask God for patience, does he give you patience or does he give you opportunities to be patient? Yeah. If you ask God for, you know, courage, does he give you courage or does he give you opportunities to be courageous? And I think a lot of people miss that initiative because things happen in our life for a reason. They happen for you, not to you. Because um, every every loss is not a loss, it's a lesson. So if you take that and you learn from it and you figure out what you need to do differently to keep pushing forward, that's how you create that initiative. That's how you create that mindset to make it happen no matter what comes because Jim Rohn says the same wind blows on us all. It's not about what happens to you, it's about what you do about what happens. So when things seem to be rough and, and hard, you know you're on the right path, but you have to take the initiative. You have to know where you're going. You have to be intentional on what you're looking to achieve out of life. Otherwise, you wake up one day and you're out of time. But it also states too, how you say this a lot, how you see a thing is how you're going to treat it. Now you treat, treat a it thing is what it's going to become. All right, see you guys next time.